Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at what we could call the last piece in the puzzle as far as your arm and hands are working, uh, the way that they're working in your golf swing. As you know, if you're watching the channel on a regular basis, I've been talking a lot about the kind of uh, information I'm getting back from a wonderful little device called Hack Motion, which is showing me exactly what the arms and hands are doing during the golf swing in real time. And what we've seen there is an awful lot more movement than maybe we've been anticipating in the modern golf swing. A lot of golfers are really getting so much uh, body rotation that this hand-arm rotation that's happening through impact almost becomes invisible when it's seen from the front-facing camera. You can't really appreciate how quickly your arms and hands are actually moving through impact. And today I want to talk a little bit about kind of the, the third piece in this movement. And this is what we call ulna or radial deviation, the bending down or bending up of the wrist during the golf swing. Why is this important? Well, it's simply something that you can't actually avoid. Because of the forces of nature working on the golf swing, pulling the weight of the club head down, the centrifugal forces in the golf swing, pulling your arms and the club away from you, then you are going to get a change in the wrist angle during the golf swing. And when you are making a backswing, because you are actively hinging and bending your wrist back, you are changing the original position of your wrists actively in your backswing, which is then going to be reversed in your downswing. What we see, similarly to the rotation in the hands and the extension in the wrists through impact, is a very free and fast moving movement with the hat motion in all types of golf swings. And we're filming amateurs and also professionals. Top pros are all doing this. What you can say if you look at the graph changing is that the strength of the change just during and up to the impact position is dependent a lot on the grip that the player is using. That players that have a pretty strong grip um, with the uh, lead hand or the back of the lead hand pointing a little bit more kind of up towards the sky will have slightly less ulnar deviation in the address position and therefore also less ulnar deviation in impact. Somebody with a more classic grip will have more ulnar deviation, more bending down of the wrist in the address position and also more ulnar deviation at impact. Almost all golfers will tend to have a couple of degrees more deviation, ulnar deviation at impact than they had in the address position simply because of the forces of nature working on the golf clubs and on their body while they're swinging this. But what we do see is that the amplitude of change is a lot bigger when you start to look at long hitters who are really kind of getting a lot of radial movement. So they're really kind of bending the wrist back at the top of their backswing, holding this till almost impact and then really allowing the club to change its lie at the moment of impact. Now, obviously, this massive change at high speed through impact is not necessarily going to work towards the consistency of the shot. And this is always being kind of the argument when you try to copy the long hitters, which a lot of people have been doing in recent times, um, then you're always gonna be working with more dispersion than you would do if you have a more classic swing. And if you look at your Rory's and you look at your Dustin's, then they are hitting the golf ball far enough with a classic movement. So maybe you ought to be working more on the athleticism of your classic movement if you're wanting to play good, solid golf and get the golf ball around a golf course without losing too many. When you're actually looking at your swing then, Obviously, it would be great if you have a hack motion to actually measure how your ulnar deviation, radial deviation change during your golf swing. But as a rule, what you want to have the feeling is, is that your hands will start 
a little bit lower at the address position than they're going to be at impact. You also want to have the feeling as you come through the golf ball, not only of releasing your wrist forward towards the target, not only of rotating your lower arm, arms forward towards the target, but also allowing the club to droop down. And especially with an iron, then it would be very important to make sure that your clubs have been fitted so that the dynamic impact position, that's the position that the club is on the ground at impact, is with the sole flat, and that way you're gonna get a straight shot. If you get it coming down with the heel down, the ball will disappear off to the left for a right-handed golfer, the toe down, it's gonna go off to the right. So a fitted club will be very important, but what really the message of this video is, is don't fight it, let it happen. Don't try and get your hands as low as possible at impact and stop this ulnar deviation because this isn't happening in all good golf swings. We are seeing a change and a pretty rapid change of maybe 20, 25 degrees in a classic swing and up to 50 degrees in a long hitter's swing. And this is only basically more fabulous information that Hat Motion has given us for us to just get a far better picture of what's happening in a golf swing. And I'm a real believer that the more detail that I have and the more understanding I have of a golf swing, the better golf I can play. And I believe this is the same for you. You've got to know what's important and what isn't important. And most certainly all of these movements are important in a golf swing. But what the real message is, is basically let it happen. Stop fighting your release in the, in, the, in the golf swing. Stop trying to steer the golf ball to the target. Get a good picture in your mind of where you want to hit it to. And my goodness, then just hit it there and don't worry too much about whether it's gonna go straight or not. Because the more you worry, the more you steer, the, the tighter you hold the golf club and the less chance you have of it getting back to the right position at the moment of impact. As ever, I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button because it does help the channel. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, then why not? You're watching the video, hit the subscribe and you'll get a notification as well if you hit the little bell so that you know when the next video is being posted. Big, big thanks as ever to the patrons who support the, the channel. Um, if you'd like to become a patron, I shall also leave a link below together with a link for the Hack Motion. If you would like to see how your wrists and arms work during your golf swing, there's also a slight discount link and the channel also gets support from Hack Motion, so thanks to them. See you all very, very soon, maybe even next Sunday.